morning, Steve Reed in Chicago with the morning grain comps. Got mixed trade right now with beans up four cents, corn up two, and wheat down about eight cents. Outside markets, stocks are trying to be a little bit higher while the dollar's a little bit lower, and crude is is higher. The um, today is one of those days in which investors are going to have a, a pretty good. Uh, long-lasting memory of today's uh, data and market reaction. Um, first of all, we're out of CPI, and it'll give um, a clearer picture for the Fed and whether they should lower rates in 2024 or wait to 2025. Certainly, there's a lot of talk about rent. Um, cost of living uh, continues to be inflationary. Uh, whereas the economy continues to be strong. Uh, so there's uh, some indication that, uh, you know, you don't really need to lower rates. Um, but uh, uh, we also note that um, if you're a, a farmer or if you're an end user of raw material grain products, uh, this is an important day for you also. The USDA is going to be coming out uh, with new S&Ds today. The trade really isn't looking for big changes uh, from the main numbers for U.S. Um, corn, soybean, and wheat carryouts. I think the biggest numbers would be, will they finally lower Brazil corn and soybean uh, crop numbers, and maybe Argentina corn? And will they lower the Russian wheat number? And how does that all play out as far as global stocks are concerned? Um, wheat market uh, rallied on talk of uh, one group estimating that Russia lost 15 to 30 percent of their wheat crop due to frost. And then we have uh, a warmer and drier forecast for Russia that could also impact their wheat crop. Um, from a weather standpoint, it looks like there's going to be shower uh, activity across parts of the Midwest over the next few days, favoring the northern areas. Um, and then I think we'll go for a 10-day stretch in which you probably won't see a lot of rain and temperatures will be uh, in the upper 90s uh, over much of the Midwest. Uh, 10 days of that is good for crops, uh, but if it continued into uh, a longer period of time, uh, it could actually uh, lower crop ratings and, and potential yields and raise prices. I asked our weather guy if Monday's forecast is the most important forecast for the U.S. Midwest. And he said, not really. He said that probably we need to get a little couple more weeks down the road, kind of looking into July to uh, see uh, with more confidence what July weather is going to be like across the Midwest. Um, maps this morning a little drier in the northern China Plains with uh, Dalian corn at three-week highs. Uh, we also note that um, the parts of the Black Sea look a little drier uh, this morning than uh, yesterday, but there's quite a divergence in those areas for the American model and the European model. Um, and again, here in the U.S., we'll have to see if 10 days of 90 degree temperatures and not a lot of rain helps the crops or if that uh, extended down the road hurt the crops. Right now, the jet stream is probably a little bit too strong uh, to cause a ridge to settle someplace in the Midwest.